Hey guys, Dicondrus here doing another quick toy review. Now this is for the Star Wars Force Awakens Strange Quarter Inch Black Series. Now these are exclusive to Walmart in the States and I managed to pick this guy up from eBay. There was a seller in uh, China actually selling a few of these. So I managed to pick up this guy and two of the Stormtroopers, the First Order Stormtroopers. So uh, I've literally just got them, so I'm just going to do a quick video review for him. Now you will notice straight off the bat that he looks a slight bit different to the one that uh, the way he normally comes, and that is because I have already removed the head from him. Uh, this is the head that comes with the Black Series Trench Quarter Inch. As you can see, the head and the cowl are all one piece, so it restricts the head movement. You have absolutely zero head movement when you're trying to move the head and cowl. I'm not sure why Hasbro did it, because essentially the figure is like a scaled down version of the 6 inch figure, which doesn't have this kind of um, limited articulation on the headpiece. So I swapped it out. Uh, with the basic series one now there is a slight gap between the top of the ball joint I just bring it out you can see the ball joint there there's a slight gap between the ball uh, joint or sorry the, between the neck and the bottom of the cowl piece but it doesn't bother me too much because you still get a good range of movement out of the head um, I might go back and actually shorten or deepen the head socket so it'll fit a bit more snug onto the body but this way you actually get a proper or uh, a decent uh, Kylo Ren figure that can actually rotate his head and actually look in the direction that you want him to. Uh, the figure is pretty nice it comes with a lot of articulation points so he comes with the kind of standard um, ball socket arm that can go out in and do a 360. He got a uh, single joint at the elbow but can rotate and he has wrists that can rotate and he also has it's a bit hard to see but he actually has up and down on the wrists so you can get him into the pose that you see him in in the movie where he's just holding the blade down so he also has has a sort of a small ab crunch it's like at the bottom but it's not great because it's slightly hindered by the soft good cape uh, which is another nice accessory that the um, the standard three and three quarter inch one doesn't come with he actually has um, proper detailed legs you can actually see the uh, legs and ankles and stuff under the skirt piece whereas in the other one the, practically the entire bottom section of the figure is one solid plastic block and you can just move the legs forward and see the sculpting inside the plastic block but um overall is very nicely sculpted he has um i can just lift up the skirt piece he has that kind of weird um he it's not quite t crotch design he has the articulation point at the hip so he can actually rotate his legs um around the only thing is it is a small bit hindered by this this um, underskirt which is kind of a plasticky uh, vinyl-y plastic piece but he, can st he still gets good range of movement I've never been a big fan of this sort of uh, joint for the Star Wars figures they have used it before in a few of the other figures like the Stormtroopers and stuff like that and it just makes the leg look weird because basically yeah it doesn't look natural when you're moving the leg when you're trying to get the leg into kind of a sitting pose because the leg has to kind of go out to the side before you can bend it down so it makes it kind of weird looking but other than that he's really good he has single jointed knees and he has uh, ankle joints as well and for accessories he comes with two accessories he comes with the same um, lightsaber that the standard three and three quarter inch one comes with with the ignited hilt and the twin the cross blades that are ignited as well uh, the only thing is it is a slightly as people have been saying on other reviews it is a slightly darker uh, gunmetal grey that the other one uh, that the uh, normal one comes in uh, it's a slight bit darker but other than that it's the exact same sculpt and then for an extra bonus accessory he comes with the unlit uh, saber hilt which has you can see the detailing of the red wire going down the side of it which you see in the movie 
which isn't on the other one. I think the other one is this pure metal colouring, whereas this one has the kind of that, that extra added um, paint application of the red wiring going down the side. And again, it's the exact same sculpt as the ignited saber, just without the both cross guard and the blade itself ignited. And you can hold the saber in both hands. Fairly reasonable. Uh, you just have to get him to hold it. It does hold it quite well in both hands. And as I said, with the head swap that I did, it does look nice that he can actually position himself in a different way without the head being completely jammed and not being able to move. You did get a tiny bit of movement out of the head on the other version of the head, but it was very restricted. So, hence when I knew I was getting this guy, I said I'd test it out straight away and swap out the heads and see what the how the difference looks and it makes makes the figure look a lot better. Um, the other figure that I'm going to try and do a head swap with is the armor up figure because even though it's another Kylo Ren figure the version of the armor up um, Kylo Ren is actually has the cowl or the the hood for the cloak part actually pulled back so you can see the full helmet design of the head so it's basically an un um it's doesn't have the hood up and up on the figure so i'm going to try and see if this thing can be done with that by just bringing uh picking him up and trying a quick swap out and if i do if it if it's successful i'll may mention it in a previous in the next follow-up uh, video that i do that uh, and i'll show if it worked or not so there you go guys as I said, I'm going to pick up the armor up figure. Unfortunately, I don't have it at the moment, so I will try and get it to see if that um, works. So there you go, guys. It's a quick video review of the three inch quarter inch, um, three inch quarter inch black series, or uh, Kylo Ren from Star Wars: Force Awakens. And I have seen the movie, and I'm not going to make any spoilers whatsoever. But I do say, if you haven't seen the movie, I do recommend going seeing it. It's quite a good, uh, fun. Uh, story and it's quite interesting the only downside is having to wait two was it two years for the next installment whereas there is another star wars movie next year uh, in this uh, 2016 but it's not the continuation for the one that just got released so hopefully in two years time we'll be doing more video reviews of of characters that are in the next film and hopefully there'll be more reviews for the film after that as well so there you go guys, quick video review of this guy, hope you enjoyed the review, as I said if you like the video click like, if you want to subscribe feel free to subscribe and also feel free to comment on the video, well, I hope you liked it.